And we are back here with our Washington Capitals franchise mode going into the 27-28 season. Carolina Cup winners once again. We are still sort of in the process of retooling. Drafted heavy once again. Thank you to Tampa's amazing uh, picks that turned out to be lottery selections for us. Everything's been pretty dang good. We have a ton of value. Some stuff to do here before the season. Some stuff to, you know, do in free agency as well. But we'll uh, take care of that in a little bit. First and foremost, we have a ton of winners to read off from last season's point scoring contest. No clean sweep, but uh, quite a few who got two correct. So we're just going to start ripping them off right here. The first one here is Oliver Christensen, who guessed correctly uh, Casablanca for the team lead. And uh, Bjorklund for the goaltender. So congrats to you. Next up here, we have Max B., who guessed for the team lead Casablanca correctly, as well as Bjorklund for the goaltender. So congrats to you as well, Max. Next up here, we got fucking Stallion Doc, who guessed team lead Dunn, and the goaltender correctly, Bjorklund. I'm pretty sure Dunn only beat Chicken by a point, so you're lucky as hell. Um, I don't even know if that was a meme or what, but it's correct. After that, we got Jake Earhart, who guessed uh, Casablanca correctly, as well as Bjorkland. Apparently, a few of you think it's spelled with an A and not a U. Come on now. But congrats to you anyway, Jake. Next up here is Frozen867, who guessed correctly Casablanca and Nathan McKinnon. So, if only you had gotten Bjorkland too, you would have had that sweep. But alas, went for Spencer Knight instead. Uh, next up here is someone I think I don't think we've ever read off before. MT, just the letters, these the initials. Went for Casablanca and Bjorkland. Went for Austin Matthews with a creative name there, but was not to be done. After that, we have uh, Fran Francesco Laradosa, I believe. I think I always think, I don't know if that's an I or an L, but <laughs> or sorry, Laderosa. Anyway, either way, Francesco. Um, you got Casablanca correctly and Bjorkland. I'm pretty sure most of you spelled with an A and not a U. <laughs> so congrats to you. And last but not least, we have Rebecca Weiss Woods, who guessed correctly Casablanca and Nathan McKinnon. So all of you, congrats. And to the rest of you, best of luck in this coming season. As we get ready. Get ready to make another run at things. Now, a couple things to do. Um... We have ex we have a top nine right now, but if we're thinking of getting rid of Domi, then we don't have a top nine. And I think we should get rid of Domi because we could probably sign Marty Natchez to a couple years. Yeah, Batherson, I'm gonna hold on to. He's solid. He's he's really good. He can play middle or wing, and he's got great faceoffs. And it's a nice little sniper guy to have. Domi, on the other hand, I think we should capitalize on that value right now and retain on him. Just to help us kind of reach that cap floor a bit. Oh, let's just let's just go ahead and do that. A lot of teams are in Sid and Max Domi. So that's nice. Uh, the retention will just help us uh, move him around. Arizona's interested in Max Domi. They're a, they're a winning team now, you know. We'll go give it to Arizona here. We can get a couple seconds. And that was not league approved. Really? Does that actually put him over the cap with retention? That's surprising. Hold on. It does. Yeah, they'd be over cap. All right, so screw that. Baston, no. Um, weirdly, a bunch of... What the hell? Carolina listed as a seller right now. I'm not trading with Carolina. Uh, okay, the Avs could take on Max Domi. I could probably get a first. What do we have in the way of picks for this coming year? Uh, already three in the first two rounds, but hey-oh. We can take this one. Might be able to get a first. Oh, should 100% be able to get a first. And maybe even a... Probably not two firsts. No, no way. Uh, but we could probably get a first and a second from next year. I'm not going to get it for this year. We already kind of have picks. Let's get a second from next season. That'll go through, dude. That's actually really good. <laughs> for Tony, we got a first and a second. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. For, I mean, we'd have the retention on there. So that'll help them. And I'll be hitting that cap floor and such, so that's nice. We get Domi out of there, retain a little bit on him to help us hit the cap floor. And let's check 
Here, I think I'm going to go for Monty Natchez here. I'm going to have to overpay his ass. Um, I don't necessarily want to do two years. Let me check some, some things and see how many years I can give him. But I'll have to overpay him, so I might not want to do that, you know, too many, obviously. I'm looking at the way of forwards. So we're essentially waiting on Cascarante here. Um, Erickson will have LaPierre. There's two Cascarante eventually. Hmm. I mean, someone could play wing. It's not a huge, huge deal. Probably just like two years or something. I can't really think of needing them for more than two years here. Batherson's going to be gone, though, essentially next season. Because he doesn't want to sign, and I doubt we're getting him back. But we have Bolin as a sniper to replace him in the top six. We'll have Bolin, Hino, Casablanca. So I'm just looking at who our top guys are going to be. Casablanca, LaPierre, maybe. Uh, Hino should be Bolin. Erickson should be. Five plus six, and then eventually Coscaranta will start replacing. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Hopefully another one of these. Mm, I mean, we still have Wilson right now too. But he's only. This is his last season as well, and he's likely out of here as so he doesn't want to sign. We have Pumanov's game. Oh, yeah, we still have Nermi. That's right. So that's good. Nermi's essentially maybe a Tom Wilson replacement. Yeah, let's do a couple of years, I guess, for uh, Natchez. I, I could go over, like, three years to be safe, but uh, not on this price tag. We'll likely have to give him, like, 11 and a freaking half. Uh, minimum. I might even be safe and give him 12. We have plenty of cash, and we will be fine for next season. So I'm going to do two, two by 12. Uh, for Marty Natchez, you could do three years and trade him on that last year with 50% retention, but also what your what's your cap situation going to be like? This is like, hey, we may we may not trade him, but that's fine. It's a free player, so let's do two by 12 for Marty Natchez, and hopefully lock him into that. Um, that's pretty much takes care of the forward situation. Oh no, I need a fourth line or two. I'll get that in a sec. I want to check out that offense. I think we're fine. I think I just kept everyone and overpaid some dudes. Oh, there's only five. That's right. We traded. Hmm. Now. Rosso is listed as a top six. Will he stay that way? Who knows? But we should be fine if we don't sign anyone. Like, we really should be. Okay, we have enough defensemen under contract anyway, so... Yeah, we have goaltenders under contract. Bjorklund and Ice Warrior will be the two guys. Bjorklund on his last year doesn't want that extension, which does... Wait, I thought I... Didn't I extend Ice Warrior? Oh, I think he's... I'm, we're waiting on it, yeah. We're waiting on him to accept. Okay, so really it's just that, I think. Dunn could actually play, you know. We'll have to see what the combinations are going to be like. So let's go ahead and get that fourth liner as well. We need a fourth line forward. So let's see what is available. Money is no object. Two-way forward would be probably the most preferable. And someone actually listed as white right wing. Colin White. Not bad. Granlin, nah. Oh, that defense is good. I'm just worried about that fall off. You know, let me look at guys with right wing. Hartman wants seven million. Barabanov, oh man, he's quite good. Thirty-four, wow, top nine. If he had top six still, I would totally get it. But he's thirty-four with top nine. He could drop honestly to. I think Colin White's probably the best bet here, not Kasha. Fisher, yeah. I wanted that higher awareness, but I don't think we're really going to get that. Colin White should be fine for the fourth. And I don't think anyone here is going to have, like, X-Factors or anything weird. 
Oh man, Ryan Hartman's fucking good. I mean, we could just play him on that fourth. <laughs> we got the cash, man. You can just pay him five mil to play on our fourth line and play penalty kill. Sure. Let's get Ryan Hartman for a year. That I really like that high defense. He will pair really well with uh, Janssen Fjallby. Uh, and I still have Dan O, who I'm assuming is going to be okay for the fourth line still. I guess he could maybe drop off a bit, but... Top 9, 81. Eh. Yeah, he's been fine. That fourth line is going to be really good defensively. So I'm excited about that. All right, that's what we're going to do here. So that should get us to the cap floor. I went I went ahead and got a new goaltender coach. It wasn't anything great, so I'm just getting like a, a D coach with A-plus teaching. So let's advance a few days. If people want XLB, let's hold off on that and remove him from the friggin' blog. Hopefully he jumps. If he doesn't jump or he jump, jump that much, we really got to consider trading him for something. That's for damn sure. We did essentially get another, well, it's an OFD option. So, I mean, you still kind of want Elks to pan out. If he doesn't, then, yeah, you just got to move on from him quickly and get someone who's established. What the f... Okay, I got to get... <laughs> Weird. Can I get people sign Hartman, Bolin accepted extension, as did Ice Warrior. Uh, we're still waiting on Natchez, and there we go. 2 by 12 high note accepted extension, as did Guyas. And we are <clears throat> all good, I believe. Yeah, so let's do one more check and make sure that we have everything that we need. But yeah, we're at the cap floor. We should have everything that we need. I'm just going to do a rock count here. Done. One, two, three. Uh, geeky for depth. Yep. Yep, or we do Leeson for depth, but probably Geeky. Even though he's not great for depth, but he did. He, he performed well last season, so I'm just going to give him another shot. So we got the right amount of forwards. Yep. And depth, yeah, we'll be absolutely fine on defense. And goaltenders are good, so we got everything we need. And we're at the cap floor, so there we are. There we are. I don't think I had, was waiting on anyone. And Beth's and LaPierre is wanting some interesting, yeah, interesting deals. So we're holding off on him. We're going to see what happens. Basically, we want to see Erickson jump up and hopefully be ready for the second line so we could toss LaPierre back into the third and then get him to a better extension. That's kind of the goal right there. So we'll see if we're able to swing that. I'll worry about the goalie, but for now, we're going to sim up. I'll get the lines and stuff taken care of, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Now, before I actually show the lines, I forgot to show you guys the new captains last season after, obviously, Ovi departs. We got new captains. You're damn right. It's Tom Wilson. <laughs> Tom Wilson captain Casablanca had an A and Chikrin has an A as well those three remain the same throughout the course of this season Casablanca has absolutely earned that all right so lines now Casablanca Natchez Batherson gonna try him out gonna see how he does on that first line Second line, Boland, Erickson, and Hino. Now, Erickson and Boland still listed as third line. I think that'll change by the time the season starts. They're 86 and 85, so I'm having them there right now. Hino, not growing kind of sucks, but he is still only 21. 86 overall. We're going to play him in his role the entirety of the season. We'll see how that works out for him. Third line, Hornqvist, LaPierre, and Wilson. So LaPierre getting bumped down into that role. Hornqvist is there as well. He's really good in the middle, but LaPierre has simply better face off, so... Hornquist will be fine on the wing. He, again, probably just going to be a third liner for us, but that's okay. Look at that deal we got him on. And he's already worth that amount of money. <laughs> already, and he's still got... Yeah, he could still grow an overall or two. I think he's going to be a tremendous 3C for us. Fourth line of Janssen, Fjellby, uh, Dano, and Hartman. No plus chemistry, but they don't really need it. Fourth line... Or, sorry, defense. We're trying this out. No chemistry, but... We're trying these pairings out. Chikrin Dunn. <laughs> See how Dunn produces on this uh, on this pairing. Goddard, Guyas, uh, Rosso, and Foot. I have no clue how to pronounce this. Rosu. I'm going to say Rosu. <laughs> Rosu and Foot. So obviously he's ready for top six. Still listed as such. So he's going to get that time. Checked out the special teams. Power play one. Casablanca, Natchez, High Note, Rosu, and Chikrin. And then... Just trying to, you know, give this guy a lot of chance to succeed. Second unit, Bolin, LaPierre, Erickson, Dunn, and Batherson. 
So we have all the top guys that we really care about up here. Um, yeah. No one really missing. You got LaPierre, Erickson, yeah, everyone. Just making sure. High note. Yep. Natchez, Casablanca. Yep. All good. Uh, quick look at the foreman. Didn't really touch it. It is what it is. Uh, penalty kill. Hornfist Hartman. Goddard Guyas. Dano Janssen Fjellby. And then Chikrin Foot. I switched around the order of some of these guys. I put Janssen Fjellby in instead of like... I forget who they had in. But it was someone not... I didn't really like. Uh, three man. Hornfist Dano taking the draws. Same defensive pairings. Extras here. Um, well, there's your extra attacker. <laughs> Casablanca and high note. Four on four. Natchez, Casablanca. You're going to see the defensive bearings maybe slightly different. Um, Erickson, high note. Don Goddard. And then Lapierre, Bolin with Rosu and Foot. Three on three. The forward pairings will be the exact same. And then Chikrin, Dunn, and Rosu. Uh, you saw that shootout. Don't, I didn't touch it, so that is what it is. Goaltenders, Bjorklund, look at Ice Warrior up to an 85. So, if we end up losing Bjorklund, we do have Ice Warrior waiting in the weeds, but it would suck to lose Bjorklund, because he's been tremendous for us, including in the freaking playoffs. So, yeah. That's unfortunate. But, hey, it's nice to see Ice Warrior jumping up and being ready for starting time. Uh, I'll check out the extensions once more. Yeah, he still doesn't want the extensions, so... You will have to be out of there at some point, I guess, but that's okay. We do have multiple guys who could play backup. So, yeah. Still in good shape. Either Mark... Well, Harkin didn't want to come back, but he'll be easy enough. Or uh, Konovalov could do it. Yeah, either way. Backups, pretty good. Pretty easy to find. All right, we're going to see how Lapierre does. I don't think I'm... I could check what he wants. I mean, the reset happened, so let's see if he changed his asking price. I doubt it. And in this... Yeah, no, he didn't at all. Um, Wilson. Oh, Wilson now wants to come back. Oh, he wants a cheap-ass deal. Ah. He might decline too heavily, man. Okay, Janssen Fialbi actually wants to come back now, too. Oof. Oh, buddy. I don't know about that, Chief. Let's hold off. <laughs> hold off on that. All right. So, you guys have seen the lines now. Uh, go ahead. You can make your predictions. And we are ready to get going here. Yeah, the coaches are there. Everything's good. Let us see how we're going to do here. Marty Natchez on the, uh, whoa. Yeah, I don't, I'm good off that. Uh, Marty Natchez now taking over the first line duties. We'll see how both of our goaltenders do. Yep. All right. Regular season about to get underway. Casablanca, minor injury, battles through it. Oof. Not good in that one. Our 4C goes down. We only have one uh, forward scratch. The rest are defensemen. Wow. Really? That's what we're doing, huh? Bolin and Erickson both go down with fucking injuries, and I guess they are. Uh, third liners. Good lord. What a start, huh? In you go, and I'm just going to throw in you a levy for now. Hopefully they're not out for too long. I have no clue. God damn. I don't even know who was in here. Must have been a forward, but which one? Hold on. I'm going to guess... Okay, Geeky got put in there, so... <laughs> this is horrible. Wow. What a start. What a fucking start to the season. I, maybe it was, duh. That's This is what's rough about two guys getting, no, Geeky's already in there, okay. Two guys getting injured is horrible. Okay, hopefully they're not out for too long. Uh, injured knee, 21st, alright, that's a bit of time. That uh, doesn't show me the other guy. We lost two games to start the year, great. It's not going to give us a plus, even though. Grinder. Let's let the auto scout get to work. Erickson's fully healed. Good. Maybe I do move him down right now. Because 84, oof. And then instead of Coppa Bianca, we're going to have Geeky in there now. 
That'll help the chemistries out. Yeah, I, he's 86, but now it's not, so... Mm. Hmm. I'll leave him for now, but holy shit, we are awful. Awful to start the year. Pretty bad. 0-4 to start? Yeah, they got the chemistries, but I don't know, man. Minus Jesus Christ. Finally get a win. <sighs> Why are we... We've been getting bit by the injury bug super hard these last couple years, and I'm not happy about it. I'm really not happy about it. This is annoying as shit, man. Just let me... Let me figure this damn team out. Who was it? Clark? Christ. Can I just play? There we go. There we go. Back to 500. Erased the horrible start. We're starting to win some games. Mirrors is back. Oh, yeah, I'll show you that line real quick since we're here. <laughs> Mirrors cost Garanten Pumanov's plus five. And yeah, they're doing pretty good so far. And we're doing pretty good after going 0-4. We have a seven-game winning streak. Why not? Let's just have another injury to the AHL. We love it. Get them all out of the way now, I guess. We all know that's not going to be the case. <laughs> oh, boy. I think it's because I have too much depth here. I, I swear, I swear. I, I know I, I've talked about this a lot, but I freaking know it. When you have more depth, you get injured more, especially in the AHL. Nate just suffered through a minor injury. But we have not lost in regular. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy, how are they doing? Oh, my God, I got... Nope, they can't be there. They cannot be there, I don't think. They're awful. Absolute shit. Uh, I'll let them go to the end here, but that's absolute shit. Why did it show me that they're higher overall, man? What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Crowder's back. This is ridiculous. And no, I haven't changed injury settings, and no, I'm not going to change them. 20 and 20 is usually, it's balanced for the most part. Just right now, we're just getting hit hard. Okay, back in you go. Six points in 19 games. Well, that's fucking awful. How are you so bad? We've been doing good, too. Michael Crowder is back. Yeah. We're, we're doing good. It's like, I don't know why they're so bad. 13, 5, and 4. Why is that line so shit? Casablanca is crushing it. That's why our first line is destroying the world. Our second line isn't having to do shit. 3, 5, 5, 2, 9, 5 isn't great. Power play is good. Penalty kill is awful. <sighs> yep. Casablanca, Natchez, and Batherson are lighting the world on fire. LaPierre. High note's actually doing good. Hartman is out playing. Yeah, that's... Nope. Nope. You guys are simply not ready. Dog shit. Fucking dog shit. Yeah, I'm even putting Hornquist up. Ugh, we get no chemistry. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. Ah, oh, actually, you know what? Plus five for them? Maybe it's probably what they need. They're absolute shit otherwise. This is probably what they need is plus five chemistry. Now, you guys just have to deal with... Sorry, High Note. You gotta deal with no chemistry now. But fucking do something. You guys are absolute trash so far. I don't care if you're rookies, man. You should have been lighting that shit up on that line. Alright, let's go back to... <laughs> now Dunn's not producing, probably because he's with Chikrin? Ah, who knows, man. Whatever, dude. It really doesn't matter. Let's go back and actually check the rest of the stats here and let me stop raging. Defensively, Chikrin killing it. Dunn still got eight points. Foot and Rosso are, mi or Rosso are minuses right now, but whatever. Wow, Casablanca played one game. It was minus three. Bjorklund's doing okay. Ice Warrior doing well besides not having near the points I want out of him. But all right. We'll see. We'll see how this continues to go. A couple shoutouts for Bjorklund as well. All right, let's try these new lines out. I know I usually don't, you know, panic, but I'm doing it because, yeah, I, they're they're young, and I don't want them to get completely destroyed by overplaying them. So, 
Clearly, they weren't ready. I was going to give them a shot, even though they were listed as third. Clearly, I shouldn't have. All right. Let's do some scouting real quick. <laughs> Nothing in the top. All right. I'll get you started there, auto scout. Even though we're likely not going to have a pickup here. Alright, let's target. Ooh, hello. Skylar. Alright, get it. Right, I'll just scout everyone. Fuck it. Even if they're in that first round. I don't know. We, we have some We have some picks. Actually, do we have two firsts and two, or two seconds? I can't remember. I'm doing it anyway. You never know. You never know when the meat elite steals are coming. Meat elite. It's a new meme. Right there, it says mid. Mid. <laughs> Alright, anyway. This guy's in a good location. At least we... Alright, there's ones in good locations this time around. So, odds are we should get at least one medium elite steal. Yeah, these are in sick locations. Oh, baby. Come on. One of you guys has got to be medium elite. One of you at least... I'm going to go deep. I'm going to go as deep as it lets me probably on these two ticks. Wow. All right. Oh, perf. Let's keep going. Very interesting stuff so far. Okay, well, the good news is there's just a sheer high volume of these guys. So again, I'm honestly counting on at least a couple of them panning out into something. Will we get them figured out? Who the heck knows, but there's got to be at least a couple. Hmm, I think it's a bit outside range, but PM's got it anyway. These ones, on the other hand, right in the sweet spot. We do have two seconds this season, so maybe it's the seconds we want to deal in. Although at this point, value is king, and low elites don't have the greatest amount of value. But we've had good, we've gotten good value out of them because we've got some insane growth out of our low elites so far. We have another one sitting in the AHL playing. I think no, he's not in the. Is he? I can't remember where. Did I put him in the top two? I don't know. There's another one who was pretty close to NHL already, or is NHL already, but just didn't have the room for now. And I didn't want to get rid of foot because I paid him. As well as he's insane chemistry on that uh, third pairing. So. The other guy can wait. I think he was 20 at 79. Like, he'll be fine. He grew like a friggin' weed. It wasn't Cons, it was someone else. Whose name I'm now forgetting, but he's a right D. So. Anyway. Uh, plenty to look at here. A lot in the lows as well. We're pretty much just checking these wholesale. Unless they're too far out of range. 300 plus I usually don't bother with. Hello. Ah. Let's scout this one out of spite, even though he's out of range for medium elite. Okay, well. Again, if our scouts don't find anything, I will be super pissed. Because there is tons here to find. Or at least to look at. I mean, I guess it won't be their fault if it doesn't exist. Maybe the territory is a little thin, but, you know. There's a video game, baby. There's going to be something there. High six, maybe. That's actually an interesting position. That's actually leading me more to believe that's high nine. With where he's projected, which is bad. Very bad. Remember when high nines could come in the top five? That was back in, uh... I think like 17, before the new system took over, which I think was NHL 18 when the new scouting took over. I cannot remember. It's either 18 or 19, but I remember 17 fondly, because that was when... Well, it was part of the transition. That was, like, the first start to, like, my channel being mostly franchise. In NHL 16, and honestly, for most of 17, it was... I was... My most watched videos were actually Be a Pro. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could still get those kind of views on Pro because I do, for the most part, enjoy it. But oftentimes, man, people just do not give a shit. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I can make better Pros, or maybe EA can make a better mode. 
But, like, here's the thing. Like, once you get the cutscenes, once you understand... Like, there's no more point. Like, yeah, hey. It's really... They made it look good. They made Be a Pro look good. But it's... It just sucks because it's so fucking repetitive. Now, repetitive doesn't always... Isn't always inherently bad, but when it's the cutscenes and shit, which can get annoying... Like, customization is key. You need to be able to, like... Just have a raw career mode if you want, you know? Or just have more, like, you should be able to get, like, here's the thing. They took, they added all the aesthetics, but then you can't get sent to the fucking AHL no matter what you do. So you're like a 60-something trying to play in the NHL and stuff like that. It's, yeah. Again, I still wish they had my tiered overall starting system. And, you know, that would kind of define where you might get drafted. Again, more options. No one, not everyone just wants to be the top prospect. Like, sure, story mode-wise, cool. But then, again customization man not everyone just wants to do the story mode you and Scorposalo on waivers we've been doing pretty damn good uh bowling out with a mild concussion now geeky will hop in oh all righty let us see at least Geeky's getting plenty of playing time, right? That's the important part. Getting Morgan Geeky is playing time. Thanks. Appreciate that. Appreciate that to the fullest fucking extent. Absolutely in love with that. That's what I get for... You know, I was kind of mocking him, so... Yeah. Maybe he's just getting me back. He's like, God damn, I was supposed to be depth here. Why are you playing me like a starter? Ugh. Some lo oof, rough month here. Real rough month. Can we stop sucking? That would be nice. Hopefully those guys have been doing better. If they haven't, what the hell. Pass the all-star break. Try to reset. Oh, never mind. I don't even know where we are. Emil Heinemann. Was he were you out? I I, I lost tr track. Koskaranta grew. Still listed his depth, so we're leaving him there. Heinemann in a minute. What the hell? Oh, here. All right, well, we don't know what's happening here, so we'll, we'll, we'll be surprised. We did okay. 21, 11, and 4. Eh, that wasn't a great month, though. Like, it was okay. Win, like, 3, 4, and th 4, and 4, 5, and 5, 6, and 6, 8, and 6 in that month. No, that was a shit month for us. We're in second in the division. Casablanca has slowed down a bit. Carolina, guess who? In front of us. I'll check everything again. Three, two, goal scoring dropped way off. Two, eight, that's horrible. That's horrible! What the hell? Wow. That dropped, oh, whoa! Can we, oh my god. Hi, no, buddy. You, at some point, have got to do well. I, uh, uh, Dude, what the hell's wrong with these guys? Being outscored by two fucking fourth liners with power play time! Oh, good, you're listed as second liner now. Can I play you there and you not suck? I would love that. What the hell's going on, man? Holy shit. We are awful. LaPierre is even doing shit. Bowling. Can you guys... Alright, now can you guys do good? Or nah? I can't move High Note up. He's absolute ass. Like, he's minus 19. At some point, you guys have got to fend for yourselves here. Damn it, man. I cannot... <laughs> yeah, this coach. We just don't have enough options with this coach. Right now, and especially with, with these younger guys coming up, but we're getting an idea for guys who were looking to play in the top, don't like the top, so. And who doesn't like top, am I right? Rosu has grown a little bit. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just spitballing here, trying to find something that works. 
I'll move them back up, but god damn, do they need to do something. At least the fourth line's doing good, lol. Felt like Lapierre was doing better on the third line, so kind of that's, that switches for him, too. Hmm. The only pairing that isn't doing good is this bottom one. And I cannot get plus chemistry with it. So, I'm going to leave everything on the defensive side of things. If Bjorklund is crap, he's crap. Where's LaPierre at? Do you want a reasonable third line deal now? No. Unless I decrease the years and it goes down, but no. Now Bathson wants to come back. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, he is doing pretty good. He's got 38 points, which means he's going to want a King's Ransom. Okay, never mind. He doesn't. I could probably extend him for a couple years. We might need him. I know he doesn't have X Factors, but... May actually need the guy. And this is sub six, so yeah. All right, five eight two five. Sure, hold off on Lapierre. Bjorklund still doesn't want to come back, and he's he's done great in the playoffs. Oof, this has not been good for us. I know, like, we're not, we're, like, in a playoff position, but, you know, it's just, there's a, it's a feel thing for me. Erickson is growing, so that's nice. He's now listed a second line. I'm going to put him in that role. Whatever, whatever happens, happens, dude. Time for you to do good. Okay, high note is growing slightly. That's good. Uh, Rosu has grown a little, which is kind of nuts. I have insane teaching guys here. Goddard, your stat minuses. <laughs> okay. Hornkfist, that sh... Nope. Okay. And the system here. Daniel Gordon has grown. Decent little chunk. He must have been the guy who started it, like, yeah. Really low. Crowder. A little bit. Drury. Trade bait. Triff has grown from, like, a 47 or something. Jass. What a late bloomer. We've re-signed his ass, got him back, and he may actually make the NHL in some capacity. Uh, Englund, the goaltender, growing a little bit. All right, hold on. Who are we missing? There you are. Axelby. Grew up to 78. Okay, what? I thought Cascarano could... Okay. Hmm. All right, Pumanov isn't growing. This is very bizarre. That that first line isn't growing with all the chemistries and shit. But when they're listed as depth, maybe I call them up at the deadline or something if we sell some pieces. Who knows? Mears, yeah, Burst, goddamn. Mears has grown slightly, which is nice. Who the hell is the defense one I'm thinking of? There's someone I'm thinking of who was, like, near NHL already as a defenseman that I had here. Bertuzzi. That's right. Where is he playing? He's in Hershey. He's on that top pairing. He is listed as that, but, yeah. I guess he hasn't grown. All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know really what to make of that here. Try some more combinations on our lines. Let's see if we can... Start getting this ball rolling here as we approach the All-Star break. And just going to go straight up to that outline. Nice win. Batson accepted that extension. Couple losses. Come on. Come on, guys. And another injury. He jumped up to an 82. Just right immediately. So let's do that for now. And then we'll reassess. <laughs> they just come in fucking bunches, man. Okay, hold on. Guyas is back. So. Throw you in. Boom. Do that. 
I know he's still injured. Capo Bianco in. There's zero chance that that's a minus like that. I'm going to put Rosu up onto the top line for the time being. Let's do some scouting real quick. All right. Pushing on here. Big 8-2 to two win. Guyas is fully healed now, and we're still waiting. Oh, it, it actually is a minus? Oh. No, I'll leave it. <laughs> Just give him some more ice time here. Try to make up for some stuff. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, boy. Casablanca now out with injury. We just cannot buy a break this season. This is a horrible, horrible situation for us. We just... Bad things happening left and right. God damn. Plenty of ice time for Geeky. Don't get injured again. Winning a few games there, then a big loss. Multiple players on Washington. Okay, so one of them's got to be Chikrin. And he's not back yet, but Casablanca is fully healed. So let's just throw him back in there. Wait for Chikrin to be fully healed. Not risking any more injuries. There he is. Okay. So, he goes back in for Capobianco. And we go back. Now, Rosu. Really good. Dunn's not producing like he did. What we're going to do here is move up Goddard and then do this. We're going to try Rosu with Guyas. Unfortunately, that's only plus one, I think, because Guyas is, yeah. Rosu, though, on the other hand, likes it there. We're going to go to this. Dunn, yeah, not doing what he usually does. <laughs> I think it's because he's not on that third pairing. We're going to go to that. He's not even doing well in the friggin' power play, so honestly, we could ch take him off that. Neither is Rosu, to be fair, though. Let's try... No. It's given chemistry, but man, we're bad. I don't know. I really don't know. <sighs> Come on, man. Get some wins here. Nice, nice. That was a couple of nice ones. Can we turn that season around into something here? Baths. <laughs> oh boy. Batherson in his sore hip. Okay, well, we almost got the 40 wins. So I feel like we improved. 68 points for Casablanca. Absolutely carrying. Not really getting the goals, but wow, look at the blues. Holy shit. Oh, okay. 39, 17, and 5, not too bad. 3, 3, 8, 2, 7, 5 is not good. I don't know what happened. Power play is bad. Penalty kill is bad. I don't know. We are in a, we're, doing, we're on a good stretch, though. Casa Block with 68 points. Batheson, 67. Natchez with 67. Lapierre with 40. Heino with 37. Bolin, 36. Erickson, 35. Like, what? Ugh, not great. Chikrin, Goddard, Dunn, Foot. Yeah, Rosu is the only minus, and he's heftily minus. Whatever, he's learning. Neither goaltender now doing too hot. Uh, the point we are getting the points at least out of Icewear now, 23 and 21. But yeah, neither goaltender really locking it down. We're trying some new combos. We'll see if that does anything for us here down the stretch. When it comes to deadline, who knows? LaPierre, can you... Ex All right, that's better. But I can still wait a bit. He does have 40 points, to be fair. And it is a pretty... You know what? We can maybe do a couple years at that. Yeah, you know what? Let's do a couple year extension at that lower price. Because this is going to be quite okay. Like, it'll be manageable for third line for the time being. And I don't want to lose LaPierre. He's a good option. He's really turned out to be something good for us. So, 5.1 for two years. We'll do that. If he declines, 
and loses some stack growth. He he shouldn't this season, but he might next season. We'll see. Even if he does, it's like one or two, maybe two years on that price tag. Honestly, I might keep Hartman around. <laughs> He's kicking ass. Really kicking ass. Could even be a third liner if we need him to. And that price tag's not bad at all. So, top six still. And it's only for a year, so if he ain't now. You know what? I'll, I'll take Hartman for back for a year. 2-2. Two, two. Sure. Dunn doesn't want to come back. and Yeah, probably won't. Wilson does now, but I don't know if I'm be getting him back. Oh, man. He wants such a cheap deal, but... <laughs> Oh, he's just gonna fall off too hard. We don't really have a captain, though. <laughs> I don't know if there's a captain amongst us. Yeah, and Bjorklund still doesn't want to come back. Well, there's some options. I know I'll probably hear trade Bjorklund now, and I'm not opposed to it. Not opposed to it. Really not opposed to it, man. He isn't doing too hot. Um, odds are we're not making a deep cup run. Anything can happen, and Bjorklund is a guy who helps make that anything happen, at least historically. But he's not coming back. Unless, you know, we can overpay him. But Ice Warrior's ready. The problem is, man, I'm worried about throwing a young goaltender into it like that. But 23, he's about at that age. We have him for a two-year extension at 1.2. Again, we can overpay Bjorklund, but honestly, Bjorklund may even have a year where he loses that stack growth. So, hey, maybe you just move him. Like, maybe a team out. I don't even know if a team out there needs a goaltender, though. Islanders. Oilers, who are actually in, well, pushing for the playoffs. Oh, my God! Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hand Bjorklund to the fucking aisle, or the oil. What the hell? AI. Why does he, why does Bennington have this value, by the way? <laughs> he must be doing good. <laughs> uh, give me Dimitriev then, and I'll call one of my dudes up. Yeah, that yeah, that's something that we can do. We can trade Bjorklund to the oil. Did they sign fucking Deer King yet? Or trade him at least. They signed him. <laughs> he made him pay. Fuck. Drew King's like, this is for making me sit out, bitch. How you doing? Oof. Only played 37 games. Oh, wait. There's only been. Actually, not doing too bad. Besides the minus. Actually, looking like they're selling some stuff. Or trying to. If we give him this goaltender, man. Okay, I was like, there better not be multiple years left on that Giroud deal. I don't know, man. Maybe if we give him this goaltender, it could really help. Maybe it's exactly what they need. Anyway, Bjorklund, Dal <laughs> Dallas is still bad. Dallas is also an option. They have 10 million goaltenders and... Insane. Well, if we did this, we wouldn't need to call someone up. We could use one of these guys as an actual backup. And grab Elvis. Make Elvis our backup. And have them turn. I'll, I'll leave him green because he's the younger one, right? So it's like that would make sense to do. Did we draft this guy? We did. And he didn't really pan out for them. And they're trying to get rid of him. We don't want him. But yeah, we could take Elvis back and something. And hopefully they actually sign Bjorklund. Nuts. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Look at this team. Like they should be. Uh, they don't even have. They have one good defenseman. Like uh, honestly, no. They they could be a good team. They legit could be. They could sim well. But all right. So Oilers an option. Dallas an option. Columbus kind of an option maybe. Uh, abs. What the fuck? Absolutely an option. So we can't get anything good back. No wonder Columbus is shit. What was their cap at? They're almost at. Um, unreal. Unreal, dude. AIs are so fucking bad. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's a few locations, destinations that we could send Bjorklund to and hand the reins over to Ice Warrior. And honestly, there may not be a better time to do that. 
I'll let this coach finish out the year, but we for sure need to start looking for a different coach. It's becoming too too much of an issue chemistry-wise on the back end. We need more flexibility, especially for some of these top guys. Like, look at Goddard. Look at Guyas. Like, yeah, he could play top two. He's not going to make it there. Neither one of these guys are, unfortunately. They're both going to be top four. So if they both have X factors, we might as well get someone who makes them good together. And unfortunately, they don't have that right now. Rosu, again, likely to be a top two the way he's been growing. We want him, you know, to, to succeed in that. So a new coach has definitely got to be on the agenda. But this one we can probably finish out this season. Let's check out some personal stats here. And then we'll check out a couple other things. Or did I already? I think it did I already do this and I'm forgetting. I don't know. I think I did. Yeah, I absolutely did, didn't I? <laughs> I just forgot. Because mm, I looked at high note, I'm like, yeah, still not great. Alright, um, progress reports, and then I'll show you guys draft class as well. Uh, more for Erickson. Good. Having him grow is very good. Uh, Rosu as well growing is very good. Kind of growing everywhere you want him to. So that's good. High note's got a bit more. So at least he is growing. It's slow, but yeah, he's still getting up there. He's not going to be like a crazy good first line or anything, I don't think, by this point. But hey, Gordon... <laughs> Look at that offensive awareness. God damn. Mr. Sixth Rounder. Up to 65. He was in the 50s minimum. Like, he grew minimum 15 overall this season. Uh, Drury really making a case to not be traded. <laughs> but 61 at 20 is still looking as, like, that kind of option. Michael Crowder's grown pretty well. He was a 7th Rounder from a couple seasons ago. And... Look at him, man. That's the, yeah. Triff's going okay. Anglin, he's actually on pace now. Jas, Nermi. Good. Muir's. He's there. He's close. And now we're not. Eh, X will be. And Cascaranta. There we are. A little bit. Just to his puck skills, huh? Yeah. Puminovs hasn't grown, unfortunately, but it might be a jumper. <sighs> Burish. Yeah, I might just stick him into the uh, fourth line next season just because, just make him work. He's got X factors. Right? So I just got to, I think next season you just got to use him and try to boost him that way. All right. Well, at the deadline here, let's. Ch give you guys a look at the draft class elite grinder still don't know what these two guys are uh no steals yet but a possible big possibility right there in chubasov and it wouldn't let me pin him there we go um a couple gold oh hello guy outside the top five sergey kavasha another sniper why are they always fucking snipers man whatever steal outside the top five we'll keep looking in that direction all right couple yeah as we expected them to be, maybe and probably not, but this is definitely a big maybe. Let's I'll pin them both. This guy's too far, but I'm pinning him in. Ooh, pin him too. Everyone else will work on. How about top sixes outside of op? No, that's all pretty normal. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so that's about it. Nothing super special. Don't be Malik Stills yet. How dare the game? Give me something. We're six points behind Carolina for first. We're likely not winning that. Likely not sniffing the presidents, but we're up there. We're up there! And the big question is, do we sell high on Bjorklund? Or lose him for free? Or pay overpay his ass? Like, uh, here's the other option. If he does drop down, he'll be back up to Ice Warrior. <laughs> And he'll be overpaid, but we can absolutely afford him. That's the other option for Bjorklund. Is that we overpay him to perhaps be a backup. Because, again, he, he'll he be back to like 84 or wherever he was at before he did insanely good. So we could either sell high, which granted isn't super high, but... Yeah, we can help out a member team, maybe. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, help out a member team. All right. That's going to wrap things up here. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. 
and I'll see you in the next one.